Good morning. Advent blessings to all the good people of St. Thomas. Well, here we are in the second week of Advent, and while we are still closed to in-person gatherings at St. Thomas Church, there are still a number of things that are happening uh, this season and upcoming Christmas season that I want to tell you a little bit about today. First of all, while we are continuing to live stream our 1015 service every Sunday and to record it, for those of you who find it more convenient to view it later, we are also inviting a limited number, very limited number of our most senior members, uh, just a few at a time, to join us on Sunday mornings during Advent to have a chance to be in church. These are mostly some of our members that haven't been in church for months and haven't had a chance due to the virus. And so we're inviting a few each week. And so as you're, if you're joining us online, you might see a familiar face or two. You might see a familiar back of head. Uh, and those are some of the folks that we have been able to invite in and bring in during this time. So when we feel like we can do it safely with our uh, plenty of distance and sanitizing as we have been, uh, been doing all along. So if you see that, you'll understand what we're doing. On Sunday, the altar guild uh, decorated the altar and the front of our church uh, in the way we normally do. Uh, our big wreath is hung. The, we have two trees up near the, uh, the altar. And what we'd like to do this year is to decorate those trees uh, with ornaments that each of our members or families make and come in and put on the trees. So if you have a chance and you'd like to do it, design an ornament, whatever you'd like. It could be paper or cardboard or a piece of wood or you name it. Uh, but something that'll last because we want to keep these. Make sure you uh, design it the way you want and then make sure you or your family's name is on it. And the year 2020, make sure that that's there as well. And we'll keep these from year to year. And future generations will look back and say, remember these ornaments from the year that we couldn't, we couldn't worship in person, but we were together in spirit anyway. So that brings me to how do you actually take these ornaments then and put them on the trees? Well, uh, we've started to have open times each week when the church is open. Uh, Carol has been there uh, during this, these times. Uh, others of us may be there, but there'll be somebody in the church to open the doors. And so let me give you some dates and times right now for when the church is open. Uh, next Monday, the 14th, it'll be open from uh, 9 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. That's next Monday. Next Tuesday, from 1 in the afternoon until 7 in the evening. That's the 15th, 1 to 7. And then Wednesday, next Wednesday, the 16th, open again from 9.30 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. And we'll do that in the coming weeks as well. This is all on our website. It'll be in our email newsletter, so you'll have a chance to see that. But don't ever hesitate to just give the church a call or drop an email and say, Are you open? And uh, if, if we are, that would be the time to come and put your ornament on the tree. It's also a time to simply come in if you'd like a time of private prayer or just a chance to visit the chapel. Any of those times uh, are fine for that. So uh, take advantage of that opportunity if you can. And we hope to see many, many uh, wonderful ornaments decorating our trees uh, by the time we get to our Christmas worship. Um, that brings me to Christmas Eve. Our Christmas Eve service this year will be at 6.30 p.m. in the evening. Uh, 6.30 p.m. it'll be live streamed and it will also be recorded for viewing later if you like. Uh, it'll be very similar uh, Christmas service to what we would normally do uh, with all the Christmas music and so on. We have, uh, we have some additional musicians that will be joining us that evening as well. So I think the music will be absolutely outstanding. And so we hope that you'll be able to join us for that as well. For most of us, this is a uh, very unfamiliar and frustrating, frightening, even depressing time as we go into the winter season, quarantined, locked in our homes yet again. Yet, our God is a God of times like this too. He's not just a God of the good times, he's also a God of times when we struggle, and he grieves with us. 
That's what's important to understand. He doesn't create these times, but he grieves with us during them. And he will come among us this Christmas the way he does every year, and maybe this year, maybe even more so. And he'll do that through the way that we reach out to others around us during a time like this. And so I encourage you to be aware and on the alert for opportunities to reach out to someone who just needs an extra boost this year, a phone call, an email, a small gift, whatever it may be. So blessings to everyone, and as always, never hesitate to let us know if you or anyone else needs anything that the church can help provide. We are here, we are ready to serve, and uh, happy to do whatever we can uh, to meet someone's needs or to just lift their spirits a bit, if that's what's called for. So let the Lord draw close to you this Advent season as he does each year, but especially this year, let him draw close and come, let us all adore him. Advent blessings. Have a great week, everyone.